and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over this really cool falling frame transition in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, that's what the transition looks like right here. The video keeps playing right here, then the freeze, then the uh, frame freezes. As you can see right here, it plays, then the frame freezes, and all of a sudden, as you can see right there, it just falls off the screen to reveal um, the second clip. It was a pretty cool effect, pretty simple, pretty easy. Nothing is like too complicated um, when it comes to creating this effect, and there's absolutely no plugins required to create this um, effect it's completely built into Final Cut um, Pro 10 so I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go ahead and start right here and then this is the second clip so I'm gonna use the um, left arrow key and I'm gonna go back one frame place a marker right here I'm just going to hold down option I'm going to create a new copy now I'm gonna make sure I'm hovered in between the markers so you want to make sure you press the V key as you can see right here disable and enable it you want to make sure that the image doesn't shift at all because you can see or the image is exactly the same because you don't want the image to shift at all this is going to mess up the freeze frame so that being said go ahead and make sure the markers are lined up and then go ahead and click option f right there so once you're at option f right here go ahead and delete this first video right here i'm going to go ahead and just rename this um freeze uh, frame right there i'm going to go ahead and right click on it and i'm just going to lift from storyline right there and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take the freeze frame right here and i'm just going to move it over to this marker right here have it start exactly at this marker and what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the duration so Control d 15 uh, 15 right there basically all i did was i set the duration of this to 15 frames so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12, 13 14 15 so it's just set for 15 frames let's go ahead and play the video right here and see if we create the look that we want right here let's go ahead and play and then boom there we go it freezes right there and that's pretty much the main portion so let's go ahead and just go ahead and press on v as you can see right here it's disabled enabled as you can see the image doesn't shift at all so that means we were on the exact same this frame right here and this frame where the marker is is exactly the same so the frame's not going to shift at all which is um a huge i, I, I think that's incredibly important now what you're going to do is this is of course all up to you. you can set the duration to 15 10 20 this is all up to you but I'm going to set it to 15 and I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 frames in right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the beginning of the clip right here. I'm going to create a freeze, um, a keyframe on position and a keyframe on rotation. Now I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right here to where the marker is. I'm going to keyframe the rotation to 10 degrees right there now i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the end of the clip go back one right here go to the y-axis and actually before i do that i'll go ahead and set it to 50 percent right there then see the newest version of final cut pro 10 you have this transparency grid which is really helpful now i'm going to go ahead and go to here I'm just going to take the y-axis and i'm just going to slide the y-axis right here as you can see right here now the video just slides off the screen um right there simple as that go ahead and just click done we'll go ahead and zoom it up to fit right here so let's go ahead and just go to the beginning right here and let's see if we got the effect we want let it play right here and as you can see right there there we go you have created this really cool kind of falling frame effect in final cut pro 10 just like that very simple very easy um right there now if you think the animation um, looks a little unnatural and doesn't look that smooth then I encourage you to add some motion blur right here just add some motion blur on top what motion blur is just going to do is just the program is going to figure out kind of like if there's any keyframing and it's going to use motion blur to make sure that the keyframe animation is smooth as you can see right here let's go ahead and play it as you can see right there now the animation has some blur to it so it just looks a lot better uh, the motion blur plugin will do its best to figure out you know what's keyframing the rotation the position and the motion blur will do you know do its automate it and make sure that the keyframe you did in final cut is completely smooth and silk right there as you can see right here there we go it just looks really smooth and there's just no stuttering or no kind of like weird frames or anything like that it's just a really smooth um and clean transition and there you go that's how you create this really cool falling frame um it's, like i said before it's not super complicated 
but it definitely could add a little bit to your video. So as you can see right here, all you wanna do is place a marker, create a copy, create a freeze frame, make sure the freeze frame is lined up with the bottom clip right here. All you're doing right here is you're just keyframing the position and rotation. So as you can see the rotation go rotates right here. It stops at 10 degrees and the position just keeps going until it completely um, falls off the screen right there. And there you go. Like I said before, that's how you create a really cool falling frame effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Just as simple as that. You can make it longer. You could change the rotation. You could. You don't have to add motion blur. There's a whole bunch of different ideas you could do when it comes to the effect. But there you go. Very simple. Very easy. Falling frame effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 200 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.